Hey guys, this is a quick video on how to install a Western plow mount on a 2500 GMC Sierra and it's the HD. Anyways, this is the fastest video. I'm trying to make the fastest video out there and it's very simple guys. They have a few things that you're going to need, obviously the parts, the tools and also everything. I mean from whatever it begin I already went ahead and do one anyways we're gonna get right into this I have a stool bench for me to make my life a little bit easier when I'm doing certain areas I also have this little flat bed dolly right there um, all the washers the bowls are in here as well to get it done I have one of those brick um, talking bars right here um, I'm also this is what uh, 15 16 so that's for the bigger nut which also goes where in the back I've done this a few times um, this is the anti seas I also always keep a diagram in case you not too sure I keep it just for keeping sick anyways this is the big one right here in the back I like starting with the big one first where in the back so that we at least the hook is up and let me try to show you the fastest way that I get to do this. This is in. This is temporarily in. I have this there. The hook is on. This is temporarily in. I just left it there. Just so that I could show you what's going on. Right there. Okay. Um, let me try to get under the shirt. This is where this comes in very handy. Let's dive right into the working part of the actual installing. So right here, the two hook is here. Obviously, we have two bolts. They're already loosened. And then this one right here. I'm going to take this guy out as well. It's already been loosened out. And you're going to be looking for the hole. Where I pointed out the diagram. It's right here. And I'm going to show you how easy this is to do. I usually slide it through the hole inside of here and then just take my finger just flip it up until it gets in um, unfortunately the camera stand can get there so let me try to do this my way it's already been loosened just for you guys we're not gonna waste your time we want you to get your stuff installed quickly and safely and I'm gonna grease up that big bolt to put inside of here and the washer and have it hanging down so I could just lift up the mount and attach it just one sec. Okay guys, I'm only putting this at the neck up here. I know we don't really need it, but I'm only doing this part. You know what? I'll just do everything. Because I don't like when I do it and then the rest or whatever gets into the thread. So it's okay we just do it in one go don't be shy to put it on now we're gonna take the washer and the washer is always the bigger one this big guy right here is thicker than the other one and I'm gonna put it inside of there and this is on actual time slide this one over here and then I'm going to take this one and come over here with it and use my fingers and Oops, I'm trying to keep the camera so you can actually see how I'm doing it. It's kind of in a weird angle that I put myself. This is where the camera is. This is where I should have been just to get it done. Taking one for the team today, guys. Just like that. Just like that. You guys see that? Just like that. That's all. 
Don't let no one fool you and tell you they need to do a whole bunch of this and that and whatever. And you know what? While I'm here, I am going to use the. I need this one. That's fine. I need another big one. Okay. I'm gonna show you how quick this thing goes in. Come right here. Now this in. This one in. This here. This one out there catches. If you want to use the jack, you could use the jack. It's catched in, so this one is catch, and that's for sure. So I could just leave it like that for now. Let's get out from there and come on to the front. One problem solved. So now we're gonna do the the front and I'm gonna show you this I did this deliberately so I show you the quickest method of the front okay the front right here I'm not cutting the entire thing out makes the vehicle look ridiculous cut this one right here I'll cut this right here and I'm only using one of those pipe cutters which makes my life easier than to use a jigsaw making a whole bunch of noise and have this bumping around Too big too. Just get an eyeball in it. This is two. Then I'm gonna bend this in this way. One. Open this. I'm not pushing this all the way in, so it makes me cut it way too many times. So I'm gonna push it all the way in, just like that. That's what I'm talking about. Don't be shy, the plastic doesn't feel. Enough. I just wanted to get a nice thin cut. Yep, just like that. Now, let's twist this right over here for a test fit. Just like that. You see how quick I did this? I'm gonna keep this there, this whole bowl there, and I'm gonna try to. Make sure the holes are lining up properly, guys. Make sure. That's it, guys. Look, it's in already. So let me show you. All you need to do now is to. I don't want to dirty up those stuff too much. So all I have to do now is tighten up this big guy and I'll show you how to do this in a minute. 
and there's gonna be another hole in the back here where the tow hook was going that screws under and it's not hard to put the screw inside there neither so you're gonna have one here and one here just remember that I only put this bolt in there temporarily and look at the diagram see the diagram right here it shows you that the screw goes on the inside so we're looking at number nine number nine this would be this one and this one right here which would be this one and this one once you push the screw in but take my advice just keep this tack don't push the thread all the way in like i just did there and then put this one in it's gonna be easier i also have magnetic um what do you call them rods so it's gonna be able to hold the screw and just drop it in the hole with the washer make sure you put the washer first and then the screw and guys that's all you need to do really that's all you need to do and just make sure you tighten them down properly and all those screws that you're gonna be putting in take my advice get one of these get one of the NTC's and make sure it's a silver it's a silver grid um, and that's all you need to do in order to install this and um, if you do not want to use your two hooks because I'm gonna put my two hooks back on there's something like a U that goes inside of here it's basically doing the same purpose of this because all it's doing is holding that pressure right here so this doesn't come in you know what I mean I have this here ready this two ends I'm not gonna be using mine I'm just gonna be using longer screws to screw right through about an inch and a half or inch and a quarter to push it right through in I have to make sure I get the same one I have all the ones that I really do need as you could see but I'm not using them and um, that's all you need to do guys make sure you tighten those tighten those and make sure when you get in your your screws the nuts or whatever you want to call them make sure you get the five grid they usually have three stripes at the top of it make sure you get this one and make sure you get those with those fastened iron lock with the plastic in the end of it right there at the end of it so it gets to lock this thing properly in. that's all you need guys anyways thanks for watching please like share subscribe this is the fastest way to install your western plow hd on a 2500 gmc sierra and have yourself a wonderful day hd models and um here is a quick look of what it is so even if you're looking at the video you could pause it and you could see what it is and this is all you need so check out the video and you will see all the parts that you need right here in this video I think everything costs almost $60 in the log nuts and everything you don't want to buy this from the dealer Home Depot or Lowe's is where I went and Lowe's anyways thanks guys have a wonderful day and I'm signing out. Peace. You could do it. Okay, guys. This is how I did the... The... This, I put this on the spanner right in here. And I forgot to say that in the um, thing. Screw this up. Screw this up. All I did is take this. There's a space right here. I took this. Put this right in here and
that's it guys i'm not tightening it because i want to make sure i put everything in the right hole and everything so this is why i kept it loose but this is how you screw it up this is the bonus part of the video anyways thanks for watching guys